Hi guys, today we're making this cute miniature goldfish bowl. To make a fish you're gonna need a tiny piece of white clay. I'm using Fimo and this piece is about 5mm wide. I'm using my favorite dental tool to round off the edges and later some dotting tools to help give shape to the head and the tummy. Oh, and sorry about the yellow background guys, it was the only way I could get the camera to pick up the white clay. I found a reference picture online of one of these more kind of chubby goldfish, which I thought was really cute, and I just kind of worked from that. This is really really small, it's 1 to 12 scale, as I said 5mm, so it's limited how much detail you can get in there, but I tried. When you've done the basic shape of the fish, move on to the fins. Squish down some very small pieces of white clay onto your work surface to make them really thin. For each fish you make, you need a back fin and two small fins for the sides. Use a small dotting tool to make lines for texture. When you're done, bake it for 5 minutes to harden. Right now the fish has a flat back, so we have to fix that. Add a little drop of liquid clay, I'm using Fimo again, and then blend another piece of white clay onto it to round it off. Then use the darting tool to kind of sculpt the shape the same way you did before, just opposite. When you're done, bake the pieces completely. To put the fish together, add a drop of glue, I'm using E6000, and then add the tail and the fins in place. Now to add color. I started by using some pearl orange mica powder mixed with water and brushed that on. Then I layered some orange acrylic paint over top of that, where I wanted the color to be really strong. I made the eyes completely black to make sure they'd be visible in the end. Once you've made all your fish, it's important that you glaze them. This is to make sure that the paint won't kind of leak into the resin later. While the fish are drying, we're gonna make some plants for the bowl. Roll out some green clay as thin as you can and cut out some wiggly leaf shapes. Then take a needle tool and make a line down the middle. Also make small veins out to the sides. To make a different kind of plant, lift the leaves up from the work surface and then place them down again using a needle tool or dotting tool to make the leaves all squiggly on the sides.
hvornår jeg planter den, bake den completely. For the sand base of the bowl, I went outside and scooped up some small rocks, dirt and sand to mix together. I added some tacky glue to it and mixed it around to make kind of a paste. For the bowl itself, I'm using this small fish bowl out of glass that I bought at a miniature fair. I'm sure you can find one online if you search for it. Now take some of the sand paste we made before, add it to the bowl and gently spread it out. Make sure there's no air bubbles at the bottom and then add a bit of sand to the top and shake it round to cover the top. Turn the bowl over and shake out any excess sand. Now glue your plants in place. I also added some tiny rocks. When you're happy with the placement, it's important you let everything dry completely. The glue has to be completely transparent. Now that the base has set, we're gonna move on to the resin. To keep one of my fish floating off the bottom, I glued it to a toothpick with a string. Now onto the resin. I'm using this two component pour on resin that I got at a local craft store. I prefer mixing the two components in a small plastic cup that's disposable. Add equal parts to the cup and mix it together. I ended up having a lot of bubbles in my finished project and I think it was because I mixed my resin together too violently and incorporated too much air, so be mindful of this. Let the resin sit for a little, which will get rid of a lot of the air bubbles, and then start dripping it gently into the bowl. When the bottom is evenly coated, add the first fish, so that it kind of sinks down into the resin a little bit and will be kept there while it dries. Let the resin sit completely before removing the thread and cutting the fish loose, but it should be able to keep itself there then. Mix another small batch of resin and repeat the process for the next fish. When both of your fish are floating in the bowl, mix a final batch of resin and fill it up. Let the last resin sit completely and the project is complete. Now you know how to make your own cute goldfish bowl. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave me a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!